Let's pray. unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name O Most High. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Lord God Almighty we praise thee for who you are and what you have done. You are the healer. Bring healing to this place. You are our righteousness. Bring transformation in this place. You are the Lord of hosts. Bring victory in our struggles. You are the God of peace. Bring comfort in our chaos. You are the provider. Increase our trust in you. You are the God who in with us. Let us enter your presence with joy and with happiness. Through Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. Amen. Let us worship the Lord by singing hymn number 208 from SS. Hymn number 208 from SS. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, 
and from whom no secret socket cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your holy spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through christ our lord amen, amen. glory to glory god, god in the highest and peace to his people on earth lord god heavenly king almighty god and father we worship you we give you thanks we praise you for your glory lord jesus christ only son of the father lord god lamp of god to take away the sin of the world have mercy on us you are seated at the right hand of the father receive our prayers you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the holy spirit the glory of god the father amen let's pray the collect of the day fourth sunday after epiphany praise the lord god of heaven and earth the creator redeemer and sustainer you alone are worthy to be praised grant us the serenity of heart to worship you in spirit and truth we beseech you o god to inspire us to follow you transform us to radiate you in our words and deeds through jesus christ our lord who lives and reigns with you and the holy spirit one god now and forever amen please be seated the lessons will now be read The first lesson has been taken from Exodus chapter 9 from verse 1 to 7 Exodus chapter 9 from verse 1 onwards Then the Lord said to Moses going to Pharaoh and say to him Thus says the Lord the God of the Hebrews let my people go that they may serve me for if you refuse to let them go and still hold them behold the hand of the lord will fall with a very severe plague upon your livestock that are in the field the horses the donkeys the camels the herds and the flocks but the lord will make a distinction between the livestock of israel and the livestock of egypt so that nothing of all that belongs to the people of israel shall die and the lord set a time saying tomorrow the lord will do this in the land and the next day the lord did this thing all the livestock of egypt died but not one of the livestock of the people of israel died and pharaoh sent and behold not one of the livestock of israel was dead but the heart of pharaoh was hardened and he did not let the people go this is the word of the lord thanks be to god the second lesson is taken from Revelation chapter 5 verses 1 to 14 Revelation chapter 5 starting from 1 Then I saw in the right hand of him who was seated on the throne a scroll written within and on the back sealed with seven seals and I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals and no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it and i began to weep loudly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it and one of the elders said to me weep no more behold the lion of the tribe of juda 
the root of David has conquered so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. And between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders, I saw a lamp standing as though it had been slain with seven horns and with seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. And he went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who was seated on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the lamp, each holding a harp and a golden bowl full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, Worthy are you to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed people from God, from every tribe and language and people and nation, and you have made them a kingdom and priests to our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Then I looked and I heard around the throne, and the living creatures and the elders, the voice of many angels, numbering myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and the wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. And I hear every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them saying to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might for ever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshipped. This is the word of the God. Thanks be to God. Let's stand for gospel reading. The gospel reading is taken from the gospel according to Matthew chapter 5 verses from 13 to 16. Matthew chapter 5 verses beginning from 13. You are the light of the earth, but if salt, you are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. A city set on a high hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Let's confirm our faith through Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally, eternally begotten, of, begotten the of the Father, God, God, God from God, light, light from, from light. light. True, true God, God from true God, God begotten, begotten not, made, not made, of one, of one, one with being Father, with the Father, through Him, through him all, all things were made. For us for men, us men and, and for our salvation, salvation he, he came down from heaven, from heaven by the power of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. He became, he became incarnate, incarnate of Virgin Mary, of Virgin Mary and, was and was made man. man. For, for our sake he was, he was crucified and upon his pilot. He suffered, died and was buried. On the, On the third day, he rose, he rose again, again in fulfillment, in fulfillment of, the of the scriptures. He ascended, he ascended into, heaven, into heaven and is seated, seated at the right, at the right hand, of, hand of, the of the Father. He will, he will come, come again, again in glory, in glory to, to judge, judge the living and the dead. dead. And, and his kingdom, kingdom will have no end. end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the, the Lord, Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead 
and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May this Holy Eucharist worship be a blessing for you and for your family. Announcements. Bands of Marriage. I published the Bands of Marriage between Ms. Ronika Tina Bell, daughter of Mr. D. Rajkumar and Mrs. Malini Rajkumar of CSI Christ Church Military Lines Pastorate, Trinavali Diocese, and Mr. John Thomas, son of Mr. Prabhakar Thomas and Mrs. Princess Thomas of CSI Christ Church, Kulavanigavaram Pastorate, Trinavali Diocese. If any one of you know any cause or just impediment, why these two persons should not join together in the holy matrimony you are declared, you are to declare it in writing. This is their third band. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, grant I pray that this wedding couple may have a true and understanding love for each other. Grant them both with faith and trust. Give them the grace to live with each other in peace and harmony. Give them your love in their hearts throughout their married life together. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Other announcements. Please wear pure mask and keep social distance in all worship services to keep yourself healthy and safe. I am glad to announce that a family of our congregation presented 65 inches TV for the use of our church. We are thankful for the family. Today at 7 p.m. we will have Tamil special praise and worship. Evangelist A. Daniel Raj, Holy Fire Deliverance Ministries will bring the word of God. Please pray, plan and participate. Due to the announcement of lockdown, Friday to Sunday there will be no worship here in Christ Church and as well as Clarinda Church. Month 1st, February 1st, Holy Eucharist Worship will be at Clarinda Church at 6 a.m. Come and be blessed. Healing service will take place at 2 to 4 p.m. on 1st February, the Tuesday, inside Clarinda Church premises. On 2nd, at 6 a.m., we'll have Holy Eucharist worship here in our Christ Church. The presentation of Christ Day is on 2nd. Therefore, we have 6 o'clock Holy Eucharist worship service. On 3rd February, the forthcoming Thursday, there will be Tamil Holy Eucharist at 6 a.m. at Christ Church. Then on the same day at 6 I mean 5.30 p.m. we'll have English Holy Eucharist worship. On 20, I mean, those who wish to either renew or freshly register their names in the Dyson teachers list for Dyson high secondary, high school, special schools, and training schools may do so on or before 28th January 2022. That is, tomorrow is the last date. Renewal is meant only for those 
who registered their names in 2016-17. All others are invited to get fresh application and submit. Please collect the forms from the respective manager's office and fill the forms and submit with all relevant documents and certificates on or before 28th January 2022, that is tomorrow. Confirmation classes will be on 31st, the Monday at 6 p.m. in Christ Church. Women's Sunday will be on 10th February 2022, the Thursday. We are planning to have it on the second uh, Sunday if the lockdown is taken over. Special covers, item bags will be distributed. The amount will be given to Dyson Women's Fellowship to help all the ministries and uh, help widows and uh, the poorest of poor. Now, birthday wishes and anniversary greetings. People who are celebrating their birthday and wedding day in this week. 31-1-2022, Monday, Mrs. O. Vincy Jennifer. 1-2-2022, Tuesday, Mrs. Sakuntala Devamoni, Mr. Abhishek Joshua Samuel. 2-2-2022, Wednesday, Mrs. Chandra Karnaharan. 3-2-2022, Thursday, Mrs. Christy Dawson. 4-2-2022, Friday, Mr. A. Sam Kirbaharan, Selvi R. Shirley Mertil, Mrs. G. Prema. 5-2-2022, Saturday, Mr. Ranjit Rajappa. Wedding Anniversary. 5-2-2022, Saturday, Mr. Vijay Singh Challadurai and Mrs. Janet Vijay Singh. Promise word of this year. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord and trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Psalm 115.11 Now the choir will greet the people who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries. Then we'll have a word of prayer.
loving heavenly father shine your radiant light on those who are celebrating their birthday and wedding anniversary in this week we thank the lord for all the benefits that thou hast showered upon them throughout the last year renew their strength and empower them with the virtues needed to face the challenges of daily life anoint them with your wisdom for every circumstances and experience always lead them to the best decisions and the best paths as they journey with you let their faith in you grow stronger and stronger with every new day lord you have promised that you will be their help and you will be their shield we thank thee and we praise thee for this promise lord we submit everything in thy hand let your name be glorified in jesus precious name we pray amen after the preparatory chorus by the choir reverend dr p frederick satya samuel vicar of christ church military lines will deliver god's message let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight o lord my rock and my redeemer amen today's topic is the power of praise praise is inherent in each and every of us it is something we are created to do parents praise their kids grandparents praise them more teachers praise their students coaches praise their teams praise is something we were born with deep in our spirit man it is an integral part of our life we praise what we value we praise what we support we praise what we love cs louis writes that praise is inner health made audible praise is inner health made audible today i aspire to look into three truths about the power of praise number 1 praise gives us access to god psalm 100 verse 4 says enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise this verse 
refers to Moses's tabernacle in the wilderness. It implies that there is only one gate to approach God. In worship, to approach God, we enter through thanksgiving and praise. Praise softens the soil of our heart so that seeds of the message can be planted. To have direct access to God, it is essential to come through praise. Let's make it personal. How can we incorporate praise into our daily life? Number one, we can turn on praise music while we clean the house, our office, while you are in the car, while you are cooking in the kitchen. We can praise God before our prayers, personal prayers, family prayers, or Bible study time. We can turn on praise music as we come to the church. Let us till up the soil of our heart with praise and then allow God to plant his words into fresh soil. I wish to quote here a quotation. Worship is not about the people. Worship is not even about the music. Worship is about giving God the honor and, and glory he deserves. I will read it again. Worship is not about the people. Worship is not even about the music. Worship is about giving God the honor and the glory he deserves. Number two, praise changes us. Praise melts the hardest heart. Praise brings repentance. Praise restores friendship. Friends heals the marriage. Praise brings children back to parents. Praise helps parents to return to their children. Praise changes relationships. Praise changes hearts. Praise changes our mindsets. In praise, our focus shifts from us to the Lord, from problems to the solution, from pain to promise, from heart to hope. Proverbs 27 verse 21 says, as the spinning pot for silver and the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. Justin Hornwell says, so often when we have seated our spirits, I mean we have heated our spirits in worship, thoughts, desires and attitudes rise to the surface. When we are broken and heated in the presence of the Lord, the negative attitudes rise to the sub surface of our hearts. When bring them all to Jesus, they will be forgiven and cleansed. Let's make it personal. Let God do his work in our life. Remember God is working to purify us into his image. Keep praising until the work is done. Bishop David O. Abioyi, he was born in 1960. 
he is a nigerian author and preacher vice president of living faith church worldwide he is a bishop and senior pastor of the abuja church it has congregational members 30000 and more what he says about worship here our countenance changes with thanksgiving and praise everything around us responds to the praise that we offer to god i will read it again our countenance changes with thanksgiving and praise everything around us responds to the praise that we offer to god power of worship first of all i said praise gives us access to god number 2 praise changes us thirdly praise is a relationship Psalm 81 verse 10 says I am the Lord your God <coughs> I am Yahweh that God the God to be worshiped and honored by you Yahweh expresses exclusive service praise and worship and again devotion In Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 20 we read they will be my people and i will be their god they shall give themselves up to me for to me for to be my people to love me trust me and to worship and obey me I will be their god to pardon sin give grace guide their ways and lead them to god's glory therefore praise brings us into a closer relationship with god in exodus chapter 25 verse 8 god tells moses to build a sanctuary that i may dwell among people god wants relationship true praise comes from relationship with jesus psalm 22nd psalm verse 3 says god inhabits the praises of his people he dwells in lives in and abides in our praise god just wants a relationship with you god dwells close to us when we praise him god looks for it let us build a closer relationship with the lord god by praising him through our life power of praise we read we learned three things praise gives us access to god praise changes us praise is a relationship may god bless his holy word let's all stand for doxology now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy to the only god our savior through jesus christ our lord be glory majesty dominion and authority before all time and now for ever amen, amen. and amen Let's pray.
Almighty God, your Son, Jesus Christ, has promised that you would hear us when we ask in faith, receive the prayers we offer. We pray for our moderator, our bishop, and for all the clergy, evangelists, and missionaries. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our missionaries, Mr. J. Yesu Prakas, FMBB missionary, Mr. Tangolan Tutang, IEML missionary, Mr. J. Joseph, IMS missionary, Mr. Dev Kumar, James missionary, Mr. S. Yesu Rajan, Cornerstone Tribal Missionary, Mrs. Muthuchelvi, IMS Missionary, Mrs. Susil Besky, IMS Missionary, Mr. Ravi Gideon, Cornerstone Tribal Missionary. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our President, our Prime Minister, our Chief Minister, and for all who are in positions of leadership, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the poor and the oppressed, the victims of exploitation and corruption, for alcoholics and drug addicts, and all those involved in the struggle for their liberation. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the aged, the infirm, persons affected by AIDS, for the widows and orphans, the sick, the prisoners, the refugees and all who care for them. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who work in fields, in mines, in factories and offices here or overseas, and all who labor for our needs. Lord, hear our prayer. And now in silence, let us offer our own petitions to God. Lord, you know what we and all men need. Answer our prayers according to your wisdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ said, The first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Amen. Lord, Amen. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hear the words of comfort our Savior Christ says to all who truly turn to Him. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. Let us meekly kneel and confess our sins in penitence and faith. Almighty, Almighty God, God, our, our Heavenly Father, Father, we, we have, have sinned, sinned against you and against our fellow men in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you, from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, 
and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's stand for sharing of peace. This is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let's exchange our peace. Let's sing hymn number 307 from SS. Hymn number 307 from SS as an offertory hymn. Thank you for all your faithfulness. Thank you that we can always trust in you. You are an abundant God and out of your great mercy, you have given us so much. We give you this offering today. With it, we worship you and give our whole ourselves to you. Please now take it and use it 
for your kingdom and for your glory extend and multiply its reach and influence we pray may it be a great blessing to many we ask all this in the powerful name of jesus christ amen amen let's pray the lord is here it is with us lift up your hearts we lift them to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right to give him thanks and praise it is indeed right it is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise holy father heavenly king almighty and eternal god through jesus christ your only son o lord for he is your living word through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin giving him to be born as man and to die upon the cross you raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high through him you have sent upon us your holy and life giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession therefore so, with, with the angels, angels and archangels, archangels and with, with all the company, company of heaven, heaven we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and saying holy 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 lord god of power and might heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest accept our praises heavenly father through your son our savior jesus christ and as we follow his example and obey his command grant that by the power of the holy spirit these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood who in the same night that he was betrayed he took bread and gave you thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take eat this is my body which is given for you in the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me christ has died christ is risen christ will come again therefore heavenly father we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross and proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension as we look for his coming in glory we celebrate with this bread and this cup his one perfect sacrifice accept through him our great high priest this is our sacrifice of thanks and praise and as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty renew us by your spirit inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your son Jesus Christ our Lord through him and with him and in him by the power of the holy spirit with all who stand before you in earth and heaven we worship you father almighty in songs of everlasting praise blessing and glory and honor and power be yours for ever and ever amen
Let's say our Lord's prayer as our Savior taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be name. your name, your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come. Your, your will be done, done on earth, earth as in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us today our daily, daily bread, forgive us our sins, sins as, as we forgive those who sin against, against us. us. Lead us, Lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. For, for the, kingdom, the kingdom, the power, the power and the glory, and the glory are, yours, are yours now, and, now forever. and forever. Amen. Amen. Let's humble ourselves and say the prayer of humble access. We do not, do not presume to come to, come to this your table, table merciful Lord, Lord trusting, trusting in our in own righteousness, righteousness but, but in your, your manifold, manifold and, and great mercies. We are, we are not worthy so much as to as gather, gather up the crumbs under your crumbs table, under the table, but, but you, are the same Lord, you are the same Lord whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant, Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ.
having received the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, let us give thanks. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with, with the, the body, body and the blood, blood of your Son, Son Jesus Christ. Christ. Through, Through him, him we, we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us, Send us out in the power, in the power of your spirit to live and work to, to your praise and glory. Amen. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Go in peace and serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.